Jose Escamilla used to be like a lot of other amateur sky watchers. He'd take his video camera outside and hope for the best. But in March of this year, Jose got something, a UFO streaking across the sky. And since then, he has shot more than 500 hours of what he believes is UFO footage. Where does Jose Escamilla live? 12 miles outside of Roswell, New Mexico. He began taping UFOs on March 5th. And I got a call and they said, come out to Midway, there's UFOs out here. Midway, New Mexico is easy to miss if you're speeding by on the interstate. To the casual observer, it's just another small southwestern town. But look up. There, in broad daylight, strange craft are flying over the town. Sightings contacted local residents who have startling home videos of UFOs they just can't explain. New Mexico as a whole has had a lot of sightings. And I think that there is a tremendous interest by our visitors, should we say, as to the activities that have taken place here in the past. Here, just a stone's throw from Midway, near Roswell, New Mexico, a suspicious crash landing in 1947 launched modern interest in ufology. The Air Force insisted it was a downed weather balloon, and despite persistent rumors, continued to deny any knowledge of alien craft or life forms. But many people who live and work here believe otherwise, that this new flap of UFOs is connected to the original Roswell incident. Jose Escamilla owns a videotape facility in New Mexico and has shot hundreds of hours of beautiful southwestern scenery. But on March 5, 1994, Escamilla saw his first UFOs. He immediately began videotaping. We have a piece of film uh, of a jet, I think it was a citation, that flew right over the property. Eh, I guess it must have been about five or 600 feet. And we captured an object that comes from upper screen right on TV. And it goes right up behind the jet, and it seems to tag it on the tail or bump it. And you can see the object taken off away from the jet. Because of his video background, some people were suspicious of Escamilla's footage. Local news reporter Lachelle Yates launched an investigation. Given the history of Roswell and the crash, we thought it was interesting that here is a man who is capturing something unexplained on videotape. So we went out and videotaped in the same place that he videotapes, and we got identical objects on our video. So we feel that he's not tricking us with, you know, any video scam or anything. What he has captured on tape, we feel is authentic. To date, Jose Escamilla has logged more than 500 hours of UFO videotape. Every time we get a new tape and we find some new kind of object in there, there's an excitement that builds and it's just like incredible. I've never seen anything like this in my life. From the film footage I have seen, there appears to be some type of intelligence behind the phenomena. They represent a true enigma deserving of scientific scrutiny. The Escamilla video is an excellent cross-section of the kinds of things that I see on videotapes. Jim Delatosa specializes in computer-assisted analysis of film and videotape. Sightings asked him to examine a large sampling from Escamilla's footage. He has found a number of unnatural flight patterns. What we find, you'll see, is that the object comes right in front of this telephone pole and then moves right up here and over top of the wires and out of the frame. Now, in calculating this distance from where it comes in over the trees and by analyzing the edges and going up over the poles, it's about 900 yards. And in that period of time, it's moving well over 3,000 miles an hour. There are at least four military bases that are known to use the airspace over this part of New Mexico. And Area 51, the supposedly non-existent Air Force testing facility, would be only 10 minutes away for a stealth fighter. Are unidentified craft like these government built and run? The Pentagon isn't talking. When it comes to trying to get this information, the Air Force will come back uh, on an initial generic request stating that they have no information. This is a lie. The proximity to 
uh, military bases in New Mexico, and Escamilla making these videotapes uh, is not just a coincidence. It follows a pattern. Skeptics offer this as proof that UFOs are actually military aircraft. But much of Escamilla's footage reveals silhouettes and velocities that are not only unidentified by eyewitnesses, but also unimaginable by current standards of technology. I'd like to find out what they are, period. If they're top secret military aircraft that the military's testing, uh, I want an answer why they're doing such dangerous things out there, like bumping their own jets. That's number one, but if they are not, okay, I'd like to know what they may be. Jose Escamilla knows that not everything he's capturing on videotape can be an alien spacecraft, but he believes that his video journal of the skies above Roswell is an important research tool for ufologists. It is the only comprehensive catalog of rare daytime activity anywhere in the world.